Hey, what's going on everybody? Today we are going to learn how to make an iPhone game. First things first, if you do not have Unity 3D, please click the link below to download it. Once you get it downloaded, go to the link that I have posted and it will be this screen right here. You just click on Tutorial Package in the Asset Store. And once you click on that, you just click Open Asset Store, Launch Application. It's going to launch Unity. The reason why we need to import um, these packages is because we all need to be on the same page, so we all the files are going to be conveniently located. Um, because I've already imported this package, um, it's going to be a little bit different on my end, but what you're going to do is this screen will pop up here, and where it says please wait here, there's going to be a download and import and all that good stuff. But uh, first you have to um, register for an account, so go ahead and do that. Then when you get done with that, click the import button and it's going to say all this good stuff and it's going to decompress this and do all that and yada yada yada. But this basically will put uh, the audio, uh, we will all have the same audio, we'll have pretty much the same everything. But So after you do that, you're going to get importing package. Obviously you want to make sure everything's checked and then you hit import. Because I've already done this, I'm not going to do that, but click import and it's going to do all this cool importing and everything and then in unity you, um, after you're done importing you can click file new project and I'm going to put this on my F drive my my external hard drive so I'm going to do that really quick I'm going to put it on my external and I made a unity folder um, I had already started this project and Camtasia decided to fail on me and because of that, I had to start over. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing my Unity folder. Where did my Unity folder go? Okay. Well, I'm going to just put it on the the F drive, and I'll. Well, you know, I think I made a folder. Yep, there it is. Okay. Gonna put it in the same place that uh, I put the last one. Well, you know, what? I'm actually gonna create a new one. Unit. I'm just gonna call it Unity. New folder. and we'll call it unity because I don't have one called unity and that will be the folder that I put it into uh, make sure every box is checked we may not even use all of these uh, packages but this will help um, after the tutorial maybe if you want to make some changes or add some new stuff that it will basically give you the availability to have all of it and as you see we got the Penelope tutorial files unity package that is most important if you do not have that um, make sure that you import um, when you open Asset Store, make sure you click Import. And while this uh, creates a new project, I'm going to put you guys on pause. All right. So when you finally get done doing all that fun stuff, you will be here. Um, Unity basically relaunches, and now it's all blank. Make sure your uh, window looks like mine. I've got the the two by three layout, obviously, so you can use that. Um, here's our project panel. Uh, this is where all our all that stuff we imported uh, is right here, ready to use. Um, the reason we do that is just because obviously it makes it easier to access everything. So we're like, bam, everything's right there. Um, so yeah, we are ready to go. All right, so first things first. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to work on the control setup. To do that, we are going to create a new folder and we're gonna call it control setups. So all we have to do here in our project panel is just create folder and we will call it control setups and then hit enter when you're done. So now we've created a folder. Um, here's our scene here. So next in our scene, we're going to add a plane. And to do that, we're going to go to game object, create other, and we're going to go down to plane. We're going to click that. And as you see, you can zoom in on it. Um, you can press F to focus if you want. Um, hold down the Alt key and hold your left click to spin around. Hold Alt and click your middle mouse wheel to, to drag around. So there's our plane. But our plane is not the right size, so we're going to go over here to our inspector. And we're going to change the scale. And it needs to be 10 by 10 by 10. And when we're done with that, as you can see in our scene here, it is updated. Obviously, I need to zoom out now because we have made a pretty large plane. 
Now we are going to save the scene in the control setups folder. You go to file, save scene as, and as you see now we have a folder called control setups, double click that, and we're going to name it camera relative setup, and we're going to hit save. All right, so now we're going to save the scene again, save scene as, and we're going to call it player relative setup, and we're going to hit save. And now we're going to save it once more, save scene as we're going to call it tap control setup did I I forgot to put the player relative setup that needs to be in control setups let me just move that there and back in control setups player player relative setup okay oh wait no <laughs> my name went away it is this last one is tap controls setup save all right, now we're good there. Our next step is we're going to basically create a stand-in that will basically uh, mimic our main character. So we're going to make sure we have nothing selected, go up to game object, and we're just basically going to create an empty game object. And as you see, um, there's nothing there. Um, it's literally empty. And what we're going to do now is now that we have our game object, we're going to create our stand-in. And we can basically just do this with like spheres and stuff. So we're going to go to create other, then we're going to go to sphere. And now the sphere, if you hit F, you can actually focus in on it. And obviously we do not want our sphere below our plane because we really won't be able to see it. So we hit F, and now as you can see, it is above the plane. And if you click the views, which is really cool, one of the things I like about Unity is you can actually see it from different perspectives. So if we zoom out here... So our plane is down here and our sphere is now up there. So if we have them both selected, we can kind of see how far away they are. So click the box in the middle to get back to your, your 3D view here. And now that I've made a sphere, I'm going to focus in on it. And that can f that can uh, be the head of our character. Now we're just going to go to create, uh, create game object. Uh, I'm going to use capsules. You guys can basically do this however you like. Um, I'm just going to use spheres and capsules because it will probably be the easiest and quickest way to do this. Um, if you hit your R key with it selected, it'll give you the resize tool. And obviously, I'm going to resize this because I don't want our character to be ginormous. And you just click those. Um, you can hit your W key to bring back up the move tool. And move this down a little bit. And if you look at that, it almost looks like a head and a body. Obviously, we are. Um, you know, using our imagination here. <laughs> it's not going to be perfect. Um, go ahead and copy that and just paste it. Um, I just use Control C, Control V, um, and now if we hit E, that'll give us our rotate tool. We can just rotate that into place. Hit W to bring up the move tool and kind of move that up and over. As you can see, that's a little too large. I'm going to resize that down. Obviously, the arm is not as big as the body. That would be kind of ridiculous. And I'm going to just kind of size up there. And that's starting to look a little bit better. I still think I can work on uh, resizing that. But again, this is just uh, it's a stand-in. It's not really too important. It's not like this has to be perfect. But it obviously wants to look somewhat like a uh, you know, human arm. We don't want it to be like completely ridiculous, as you see. Now our character is hands up, but for the time being, I'm just going to drop this down and do a little movement here, and not resize, wrong button, <laughs> and move you down just a little bit more, and I think the placement on that is just a little off, but it's okay, I can actually pull that out just a little bit more, and move it up. Now, obviously, I'm a perfectionist, so I'm going to try to get this to look as good as possible. Alright, so now what we can do is we can make 
Two more copies, obviously, for the legs. So control V, move that up. Control C, control V, and move that over. So now we just make the legs here. That was just a little copy and pasting, guys. Nothing, uh, nothing advanced or anything. So just copy and paste. Um, gonna thin the legs out, obviously here. Probably could have done it a little faster if I made one leg and then the other, but it's all good. However you do it, whatever way works, you know, obviously is the important part. Um, I'm actually going to delete that and just do what I should have done originally and just made a copy of the leg. Because obviously we just need to mirror image that. This one's actually too far over. Might be just a little too big, but that's okay. So there is our character. Um, and now what we need to do, as you see, we've got in our hierarchy all these capsules and spheres and stuff. So now um, this game object here that we created, we're going to left click it. And well, double left click it, but not. And we're going to call it stand in. Going to hit enter. And now we have stand in. And what we're going to do is this will be the parent. So when we drag the capsule here, capsule here this basically the the capsules and the spheres become the children and basically what that what that means is when we click stand in now all the parts are together so we can move it as one and everything here is inside of the parent so there is our character there looking pretty awesome and as you can see right up right above the plane so now when we we click stand in again you know we can just move it as one so that's pretty cool. Let me um let me zoom back in here. I'm gonna try not to have him going through the plane. And I think I'm gonna make one change to the head. I'm going to give it a little bit of a a tilt there, so it kind of looks a little bit more like a human head. And there we go. There's our stand-in. Alright guys, that is it for part one. Please click the annotation on the right to watch part two. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer them, or possibly someone that watches the video will try to answer them for you. Please subscribe for more tutorial videos. Um, like this video and share it with your friends. I know a lot of people have wanted to know, you know, how do you make video games? How do you do this? How do you do that? And, you know, the only way people will be able to see this is if you guys share it, if you guys view it, and if you guys, you know, get it out there to the masses. Uh, the more likes this gets, the more comments this gets, the, the more exposure it gets. So I look forward to seeing you guys in part two where we will continue to make our iPhone game. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you in the next one.